Mad Men is one of the greatest TV series ever written, and at the very end, the finale of season one, we see one of the greatest pitches ever shown on TV. I'm going to show you why I love this pitch so much. <laughs> So let's set the scene. We have Don Draper faced with what is otherwise known as a slide projector. Two executives from the company in question are sat there and they say to Don, Don, what have you come up with for our wheel? So have you figured out a way to work the wheel into it? The first thing Don does is he gives us a masterclass in marketing 101 and that is never talk about the function, talk about the benefits of the products that you have. Technology is a glittering lure, but uh, there's the rare occasion when the public can be engaged on a level beyond flash if they have a sentimental bond with the product. Don Draper describes how the product will benefit the people using it rather than going through its function as a slide projector. This device isn't a spaceship. It's a time machine. It goes backwards and forwards. It takes us to a place where we ache to go again. Take, for example, a Ferrari versus a Nissan Micro. Effectively, they perform the same function, getting an individual or more than one individual from A to B. But a Ferrari is something that drives people's ambitions. It's what many people dream about owning. It's much more than a means of transport. It is a status symbol. It is something that says, I have arrived, I have achieved something in life, let alone all the exhilaration that it gives you compared to driving a Nissan Micra. Asterix, I've actually owned a Nissan Micra and they're not all that bad. The second thing that Don Draper is he talks about products being new, N-E-W, new. When something's new, it intrigues us because we haven't worked out what it quite is yet. And Teddy told me the most important idea in advertising is new. What Don Draper does cleverly here is he actually says, no, this is not about something new. This is about nostalgia, the opposite of new. He's using an antithesis He's turning a normal concept on its head and making it sound rather positive. Nostalgia. It's delicate, but potent. Don Draper really isn't talking about something new or the opposite of new, nostalgia. He's really talking about the fear of loss. Third and finally, the thing which Don Draper does very best here is he generates a huge sense of emotion. He drops the lights and he shows the slides and he talks in a very soft, steady tone about memories. It's not called the wheel. It's called the carousel. It let's us travel the way a child travels. Round and around, and back home again. To a place where we know we are loved. And the memories that he brings up happen to be photographs of him and his wife, who happen to be two very beautiful people, showing them with children, showing them getting married, showing them being extremely happy and having tremendous joy. All of these things the audience can connect with because these are universal experiences which we'll all have probably at one time or another in our lives. He draws straight into the audience's emotions. What's the effect of this? Just take a look at what happens to Don Draper's colleague. I love Mad Men and I love this pitch. We're taught three valuable lessons by Don Draper. Number one, don't talk about functions, talk about the benefits. Number two, think about the fear of loss. Think about our natural desire to acquire things and how painful it is 
should those things be taken away from us? And number three, the most powerful element in any pitch is emotion. Drive up the sense of emotion, get people thinking in a hot cognitive state, and life becomes a lot easier. Indeed, this is the effect that Don Draper's pitch has on his audience. Good luck at your next meeting. Lots of people say that they like my videos. Indeed, lots of people say they like all kinds of things about me. But guess what? They don't actually show that love and appreciation above and beyond just saying those words. I would be indebted to you if you liked, subscribed, and indeed commented against any of my work.